Innovation and practicality, I love them both. I'm Callie Lewis, welcome to Geek Beat. This episode of Geek Beat TV is brought to you by Audible. Yeah, I forgot to write an announcement. I was gonna talk about something that we have going on here at the Geek House, uh, but I totally forgot to write it and I can't think of anything at the moment. So happy birthday, Dave Curley. Thank you. <laughs> you guys send him a, is there a send Chick-fil-A via Twitter there thing? There you go, tweet, tweet me some nuggets. T tweet nuggets? I don't think that exists, Dave. All right, tweet me some Starbucks then, that'll work. <laughs> All right, well, let's talk about a serious issue right now. Where's my underwear? Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, come on, what, you took his underwear? Roommates. Living with people you don't know can be very challenging and cause stress and gray hair. Hey, no, I don't have any gray hair. Stop well, that. <laughs> Even living with friends and people you know can cause strain on your existing relationship. It's no good when everyone in the house is thinking that others are taking advantage of them or that one person is getting more use out of the best spaces in the house than everyone else and still only paying the same amount. Or how about splitting up stuff? A family member dies and the rest of you have to decide who gets what. It's an emotional time already and often fights begin to break out. Life can just be so unfair. I'll teach you a thing or two. You won't. You, you, you horrible person, you. That's where Split It comes in. Each of the parties involved will be given the opportunity to assign a value to the items, whether it's a piece of art or a guitar or a room in the house. Then the system uses a special algorithm to evaluate what each participant entered and divide it appropriately. It's a mathematical equation. You can't argue with that, can you? Now, everyone's happy. Oh, thanks, Toots. You're welcome. <laughs> And to keep the circle of love going, Sonos is going to be enabling the ability for you to add multiple accounts to your Sonos system. So you have your music, your roommates or your spouses can have their music, and the kids can have their teenage beep-boppy songs that you can't stand. You'll be able to flip back and forth between them and it won't affect recommendations or flow. And the only bad thing is you can't get it until later this year. But the one thing you can take advantage of right now is Audible. You can listen to audiobooks through your Sonos system while cleaning the house or working or on your mobile device while driving or at the gym. They have over 100,000 titles to choose from. I can't even count that high. And a free audiobook is waiting for you at audiblepodcast.com slash geekbeat. I'd love to listen to the Maker Movement Manifesto, a book all about innovation while on a cruise ship laying in my cabin looking out into the beautiful sea. <sighs> Huh? Oh, um, sorry. Uh, unfortunately, I can't afford a cabin with a view with a balcony, as most people can't. I mean, come on. But that's okay now, because Royal Caribbean decided everyone deserves a view, whether you can afford it or not. They're beginning to outfit their ships with 80-inch 4K TV screens. At first, I was like, meh. A loop of a video at sea? Not that cool. I mean, nice, but not cool. But then... I found out that they're sending a live feed from cameras mounted around the ship. So you're actually seeing what's outside. So if a giant sea serpent were to swim along with the ship and eat somebody and everyone's talking about it, you'll have seen it too. So you won't be left out. Pretty cool. Another cool thing? Well, innovation that saves lives, of course. You may know that the Dyson Foundation, you know, Dyson vacuum cleaners, they give out innovation awards every year. And this year, it went to a British guy, James Roberts. He's 23 years old and created a low-cost incubator for premature babies. Apparently, incubators cost $45,000 currently. Each. <laughs> that means when you walk by a NICU in the hospital, you see all those babies in there. It costs that hospital, though, like 45, 90, 135, yeah, like 60 bazillion dollars. That's expensive. And third world countries or places in remote areas without a lot of money just can't afford that kind of equipment. 
So James created MOM, M-O-M. The middle of the device is a soft plastic that connects to the ends, which are hard plastic. The two ends can be folded together to be portable. And when they need to use it, they expand it and lay the baby in there. It can use either power from a regular outlet or even alternative sources, maybe like a car battery. And at the end, you have a hopefully healthy and happy baby. What innovative projects are you excited by? Let me know by leaving a comment below, ping me on Google Plus or Twitter. I look forward to learning more from you guys. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me each and every day. I'm Callie Lewis, bye. A little bit for us. No. Oh, so nice. see. Wait, you, you, point cloud. What exactly yeah. does point cloud mean? And, and you, you scanned, scanned the decals everything. inside and out. Now that surprised me actually, yeah, because I'm yeah, 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 exactly. It gives you those really great, beautiful Michael Bay cinematic shots.